Hey everyone, it's Nathan Whitney. Welcome to Flying Solo, the Modern Country Edition. This course is designed to give you three solos, each containing four individual licks or phrases that you can learn to play as a cohesive unit or develop into your own personal solos. I've developed this course and these solos with the intermediate to advanced player in mind, someone who might not have a country background but really wants to jump to the front of the line when it comes to playing in this style. For this course, I've written three solos over three unique backing tracks. The first backing track and solo definitely imparts a more classic country feel that is common in modern country solo. The second track definitely draws on pop influences and we apply a little more pop and rock style guitar playing, often demonstrated by someone like Keith Urban to that solo. The final solo and track are definitely inspired by Southern rock bands like Leonard Skinner or original rock pioneers like Chuck Berry. I like to call it the country fried solo. Starting with the classic country solo, we're gonna work on position shifting using chromatic passing tones within a pentatonic scale. We're gonna learn about and work on double stop hybrid picking. We're also gonna use a little bit of a jazz and Brad Paisley influence by using some open strings and some dominant chord arpeggios. In the pop section, we're gonna learn how to play a little more melodically by working on double stops and thirds, as well as open string drones. We're also gonna look at pivoting off of certain notes to launch the end of a solo into the stratosphere. In the country fried rock solo, we're gonna look at how Southern rock and classic rock has influenced modern country soloing. We're gonna be working on double stop bends and some Chuck Berry riffs. We're gonna be working on hybrid picking with a high gain tone and making sure things are articulated well. We're gonna talk about octaves and unison bends. And once again, we're gonna finish off with some quick and shred like pentatonic lines. Like I said before, this course is designed for the intermediate to advanced player. Some things you'll want to know before you start are all your cowboy chords, but also your power chord shapes, and knowing those allows you to know all the note names on the neck, which is highly essential. Being able to know your pentatonic patterns across the neck and your major scales is really beneficial. Some things like double stops and understanding what they are, as well as how to construct thirds from a major scale would be beneficial. If you haven't had any experience hybrid picking before, I'd recommend getting some work on that before diving into this course, as some of the solos definitely use a lot of the second and third finger in addition to the pick to make some lines pop. When you've completed this course, you'll have three composed solos under your fingers that you could take to the stage or studio. You'll also have the individual licks from those solos that you'll be able to transpose around into different keys and into different areas of the guitar neck, allowing you to create your own solos. Having a lick library is highly essential to being a great modern country soloist. I've had a lot of fun composing these solos, and I hope you'll have some fun learning them. The whole goal of these solos is to give you complete solos that you can walk onto the stage and play at any time, but also to take the individual licks and use them for your own solo content development. It's always great to have a library of licks as a modern country solo guitar player. All right, I'll meet you in the first lesson.